Hello friends, welcome to Samara Bot tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to use Samara Bot to create a video application or video website. Here we go. Go to Play Store and search for Samara Bot. This is it. Okay, so but we, I'm going. I'm not going to use this Samara this time around. I'm going to use another app that is created with Samara to create a video app and video website, so that it will be very easy for you to manage. This Samara bot, you can also manage your platforms using Samara bot, but this is for technical people. So you can see the options we have here. So the second one, website builder and Android app builder. So if you want to create Android app or website. And after that, you log in, you create, you click on it, you create another. Okay. So, but for people that are not technical enough, so that is why I'm going to use the second option we have, which is just search for web and app creator uh, look you can see this icon this one so this is the one we are going to use i've already installed it let me open it okay so all right now the interface is like this i have not created anything now to get started click on plus sign here to create so what do you want to create is a website or android app so if it is android app what is the name of the app you want to create let me put example 45 now email address example 45 at gmail.com so the password let us add my user p all right so click on create now the app is created successfully okay now to if it is website it's the same way so you just come here and choose website okay so now how do you not get started you open this you click on this click on view details now this is your app information so the app id this is the app ID, manager id so i will explain this later okay so let us go back click on this now copy the app id this app id we also we will need it but not now okay so but if after you've created your app i will just advise you the first thing you need to do is just to click on the fourth option here which is open manager so that is where you open the manager of the app so that is where you will set up the kind of app you want to create if it is a website that is where you set up the kind of website you want to create okay so now the let me click on it now it is telling me to go to my browser and follow this you can see we this m3h the code is long what is that it is the it copies it gets that id from here from here okay so that's now i just show you so let's go to the manager that first thing you need to do copy it is that you copy it or you copy it from here copy or you click on copy so after that you go to your browser you see this is me so i've gotten the code and i paste it here all right so it is telling me that which kind of uh, which kind of app do i want to create so and then this is the app name i've already chosen with you e wallet then the contact number is there so you click on update button all right so this is my app link let me open this app link this is my app so if i want to log in through web you click you can click on login if you want to register through web I click on register and to install the app you click on install app okay so logo is required we need to upload our logo so let's go back to the manager okay so now we are tasked to complete you need to complete those tasks you need that okay but the tutorial you need to complete that is very simple just click on each one of them you it will guide you but i need to go straight to admin portal so click upload logo you come to this place you click on settings you can see so uploading logo uh, let me just choose this okay then you click on upload button beside it so logo is updated and go to install app 
good. Now my app, you can see my app is pending. It will take like 24 hours before your app can be installed. But if you don't want to wait, you can actually install App Tester. That App Tester will let you see what you are going to see when you install your app. So click it. This is the App Tester. Let me open it. In the App Tester, we have uh, you need to provide your app ID to test run your app. So where will you get the app ID from? So you get it from um, from where you created your app from here. Click here. Copy app ID. You can see copy app ID. This is the app ID. So take it to to the app tester. Paste it here and click here. This is your app. So that means you can use app tester if you don't want to wait for your app to be to be ready. So we don't want it takes like that hours, at least one hour. So, but you don't want to wait. You want to see how your app will look like. This is it. This is it. So let me let me of your app. So I've I've used an an example account to log in. So I just register and test run. So you can see you can find your wallet. But you need to set up payment payment method. How will you do that? Let us go back to the manager main dashboard. You know, it remains four links here you need to complete. By the time you complete the four, your app will be okay. Okay, so your app will be okay. So let me take the last one, which is kindly set up the payment method because that is the major thing that remains. But before that, we need to agree to the terms and conditions. Yeah. All right, so. Where do you hear about us? Let me just choose YouTube. Okay. Now, this is the interface for the admin. In case you want to find your wallet so that your customer can start buying. But this is stressful. This is stressful. So, I will just you just click on it. Click on the money. Click on fund wallet. But that is not where we are going to. So, we are going to how to set up payment method so that your customer can fund their wallet and start buying okay so how will you fund your wallet and sorry how will you set up payment so click on menu click on app configuration so click on video and payment setup on that display we have online and bank transfer okay so we scroll down you put your own bank details there let's say UBA this is your account number this is your name so once i put it i click on save now in my app people will be seeing uh, the account so that once they send money there i can actually approve them manually okay but we don't want to pass through all this manual method we want everything to be automated so that when you are sleeping people are still buying and funding their wallet if you want to do that we have um, four options number one you click on setup card payment is that you use paystack follow this is that you use facetag or flutter with if you are using paystack you go to paystack.com register get your account verified and make sure you enable this chargeback if it is paystack so if the flutter will charge that chargeback is not useful so that chargeback means a uh, charge will be on your customer okay charges will be on your customer if customer want to phone on the near and then Flutter way if paystack want to debit maybe 1.4 or 1.3 so which mean 1.3 naira will be on your customer that is chargeback enabled so but if you disable it that means you'll be the one to bear the the charge okay so well if it is on flutter wave you can set up chargeback from your flutter wave dashboard so yeah go to your flutter wave account copy out your public key and secret key because your paystack account copy your copy in your public key and secret key and in your flutter wave or in your paystack account you will if it is paystack you can see paystack webbook you need to copy this thing and paste it on your paystack webbook if it is flutter wave copy this link and paste it in your flutter dashboard 
under settings you see a place for webhook url that you paste this url there okay but you can see before you can get your account verified on page stack or on flutter we need to pass through some processes okay so if you don't want to do that you can actually go for the second option which is modify so modify click on it under modify you need to go to modify.com register and get your account verified you need to pass through a lot of processes too okay so now this is how modify works you can see your modify api key go to settings under your modify dashboard to copy it out contract code copy it out so how much charge do you want to charge your customer now this let me explain modify in details you know in some apps you may see a virtual accounts where they just create automatic accounts for you so if your name is example they may create wema example then your account number so that when you send money into that account you will be created automatically then the money will enter your modified dashboard so that you can withdraw it out but the process you need to verify your modify by undergoing a lot of processes okay so but if you don't want to do that we have another option here which is CUDA add-on on that CUDA add-on this CUDA add-on is powered by Samara bot itself so you don't need any process you don't need any registration you don't need anything just click on this plus sign now it is installed once it is installed you go to your let me go to my app here and refresh i mean your customer you know this is your customer refresh so let me click on fund now the account number is here there is one percent charge from one error to 999 error, and there's 15 error charge from 1000 upwards so your customer or your customer will have different account numbers could account so once they send money into it the money will enter here and they can start buying let's for example you want to buy mtn line mtn data so let's put one number like this to so your pain let's check it out error invalid pain so now you don't actually have money there you can hide your list and show it out okay now let's check it. let's check out the third one the third one we have on uh, whoopos under whoopos 2 you will still pass through little process so but the fastest one is this good add-on so it will create automatic account number for your customers all right now let us now get started this way i will now hand that one is in another video on youtube how will you hand is on another video on youtube all right so now now that you already know how you download your app let me show you again if you want to get your app link you can just go to this place go to app manager this is the app link so go to this place it will show you where to download your app and then it will get delivered to your email address okay now let's check another thing you know i told you that you must have money here you need to find your own wallet too this phone will wallet if you don't know how to phone wallet click on out of use whoopers to phone your wallet okay now before customers start buying like here before they start buying you must have money in your api if you have under if your customer has on an error here and you also have on an error here once the customer buy purchases a uh, eight time on an error for example um under now will be debited for your customer and in this place 97 naira will be debited for your wallet so remaining three naira here now that three naira is your profit indirectly so let for example let's check it this way go to prices and charges setup scroll down now on the top here click here to check our pricing so you check how much we are charging for each service for all recharge cards 98 percent for mt you can see so let us look for a time for a time is like 97 percent so which means the remaining three percent is yours now, now to set up your own price so you click on this place 
you can see under um eight time discount you can actually put one or two or three percent discount since we are giving it out 97 no that's three percent discount so you can also give your customer three percent discount so it cannot be more than three percent discount unless you run at a loss okay so you just go to play store and uh, sorry go to youtube on how to do prices setup so there's another video on that thanks for watching this is just uh, part one of the video so watch out for part two